Hey guys, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and instead of doing a watch review today, today we're going to do a mystery box unboxing for three separate mystery boxes that I received thanks to winning a raffle in one of the watch Facebook groups. Now, before we get started though and tear into these boxes, I have to tell you a little bit about the background behind this waffle because to me it's pretty interesting and I'm so happy to be a part of it. So about a month ago, um, I had one of the members of one of the Facebook groups that I'm a member of reach out to me and say, hey, we're trying to get something together for another member. Do you have any watches? Do you have anything that you'd like to donate towards a mystery box? I should, let me rephrase that. I said, sure, why don't you tell me about it? So evidently one of our members of this Facebook group, a gentleman by the name of Trevor, was retiring from the Navy after 22 years of service. Now, during these 22 years of service, he had always had the hopes of building up enough and purchasing his Grail watch was an Omega. Now, unfortunately, before Trevor retired, he didn't have a chance to pick up his Omega that he was always looking for. So this, this member of this Facebook group that reached out to me is, was, I should say, actively trying to get a mystery box together that could be raffled off and fund the purchase of this Omega watch that Trevor had always wanted and uh, they wanted to give it to him for a retirement gift as a thank you for 22 years of service in the Navy. I said, absolutely, I have no problem paying it forward. I love to help out other people when I can. So I packed up uh, two or three different watches and a bunch of other goodies to add to the donation on this mystery box. Send it out, everything's all good. They accumulate everything that's gonna be donate, excuse me, donated towards this raffle. And they said, okay, now it's time for this raffle. Now, if you're not familiar with a raffle or a waffle online, basically what it is is you have a set number of slots each person or anybody that wants to participate can purchase a slot and then at the end when all the slots are filled, the moderator or the person in charge of the raffle or waffle will go ahead and use random generator and take a spin and it'll randomly select one of those people in those slots to win the mystery box. Now this specific waffle was $100 per slot and if you bought two slots, you got a third bonus spot for free for the first five people. Once they announced it, I know I already donated a few watches that was a good chunk of change. I said, you know what, this is a good cause. I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring, recognizing that personally, I never win anything, never win anything at all. And uh, it drives me nuts. So I figured I was just, it was a donation for me. I knew I wasn't gonna win. I didn't think I was gonna win. So. All the slots get filled, it comes time for the waffle to be ran, and lo and behold, I win. Blew my mind. I won this $4,000 plus waffle in this group. So today, what we're actually gonna be doing is we're gonna be opening up all the boxes that I received as a part of this mystery box waffle that funded the purchase of the Omega Grail for Trevor. Trevor, incidentally, thank you for your service. There's numerous service members active in these groups and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So let's get started and see what we got. So if you're not familiar with mystery boxes, um, this may or may not be a shock to you but you never know what you're gonna get with a mystery box. Um, and that's part of the excitement. I mean, you guys see me do uh, watch gang subscriptions all the time. Part of the reason why I do them is not for the value of the watch, but because I love being excited. It's like a kid on Christmas, never knowing what you're gonna get. So these mystery box auctions or these mystery box waffles are absolutely no different. Um, <laughs> I've seen a number of crazy things come out of mystery boxes. So the fact that I'm actually recording this while I'm opening these puts a lot of faith in the people that put these mystery boxes together because some of them can be downright inappropriate, which is awesome. So we have our first mystery box. Incidentally, we have three mystery boxes. One of them, which is this one right here, I'm gonna fly through real quick 
because this is actually the box that I donated for this mystery box auction or mystery box waffle, I should say. So I pretty much know what's in that already. Um, again, because I'm the one that donated it. So we'll, we'll fly through that one when we get to it. But let's take a look at this first one. So pulling out of this box, the first thing we have is a watch, which incidentally, I'm gonna fly through these because this is a pretty big box or set of boxes. So we're gonna fly through these and then I'll take pictures at the end and post up everything that I got. And right out of the gate, very first thing is we get an e-guard Civil eGuard from eGuard watches. Right off the bat, that watch is probably $150 watch, give or take. Uh, I'd have to look it up. But right off the bat, there's $150 of the $200 that I purchased. Next, what do we have? We have a jet set. Nice black jet set. I've never had a jet set watch, don't know anything about them. I think if I remember correctly, they were either a black or original tier uh, from Watch Gang. So I'm gonna have to do some research and find out about those, but we'll come back and take a look at these watches at a later date. So we have a black jet set. So right out of the gate, $200 spent, we have the jet set and the Civil E-Guard. Next, what do we have here? Rockwell, what is Rockwell? Huh, it's Rockwell digital watch. Again, I don't know anything about it. Um, it says Raider Project. Gonna have to jump in and do some research on this watch, uh, but it definitely looks pretty interesting. Silicone band, silicone watch case it looks like. So that one came in. What else do we have in this box? And yes, I am flying through these because we have a buttload to get through. Next, we have an Argenti. Don't know anything about the watch. Gonna have to jump into it and take a look at it. Set that guy off to the side. Also in this mystery box, we have a LED keychain. We have packs of gum. And this right here. I know what you guys may think this is in a little baggie like this, but it's not. This, uh, this is actually a ghost pepper um, because the gentleman that packaged this box knows that I hate hot things. So uh, he threw this in to uh, see if I could handle it. So this is a ghost pepper, uh, a little bit dried up, but uh, I'm gonna have to uh, check that out and see if it's anything that I can deal with in the future because I cannot stand spicy stuff. I cannot stand hot stuff, so that'll be interesting. So, eGuard, Jet Set, Rockwell, Argenti watches, all from the first box. That's the first box alone. Second box is my box, so I can pretty much tell you what I donated already. Um, you guys are probably gonna kick me uh, because these are watches you've actually seen me review in the past. Um, but it was a good a good cause and I wanted to pay it forward. So what did I donate to this mystery box? Boulder wallet, because who can't have enough Boulder wallets? I forget what this one was. Oh, this was a watch that I donated. This is that Elliot Havoc that you guys saw me review that... Um, yeah, you, you guys saw me review that one in a previous video. So we'll put that off to the side. We have a Breed of Watch that I had donated. We have a Windbreaker, a Marines Windbreaker, a um, bunch of other stuff in here. But here is the watches that actually meant something to me that I donated towards this good cause. And we're just gonna get this shit out of the way because Again, guys, I don't wanna be here all day for you. I don't wanna fly through it. So the first watch that I donated was that Aragon Silver Jet. Yeah, you guys know I love that watch and that was tough for me to donate, but uh, I did because again, it was for a good cause. Also, what else did I donate to it? That Aragon Big Date that uh, you saw me review in a previous video. So I made the donation, paid it forward, 
paid off in the end because I won this waffle and I got the watches back that I sent out, which right here to me for the $200 that I spent, I made my money back in these two watches right here and they were my watches. So I know what kind of shape they are. If you give me a second, I'm going to rearrange the camera and open our third and final box because this guy is a monster and I want you guys to be able to see everything that we got in it. So hold tight. All right, so opening up this third and final mystery box. Get this guy open here. Wow, we have a lot of stuff in this box. Let's take a look. We're gonna fly through this box also. So we have a Damascus steel pattern folding knife. What else do we have in here? We have a SmartStream wireless router with built-in Kodi. That's got to be 90, 75, 90 bucks right there. Uh, what do we have here? We have we have tall shot glasses. Everybody loves shot glasses. Package of shot glasses. Couple ties. You guys don't see it often, but uh, I wear suits every day to work, so those will come in handy. We have next a breed of watch, looks like. Let's open this guy up and see what this is. Oh, it's pretty sharp. Breed of watch. Fly through the rest of this stuff. And I forget what the hell these things are called. Beerstein, I suppose. Nice older looking Beerstein. I actually have a bunch of Budweiser Beersteins from a previous. Uh, mystery box that I had won. This is Urban Survival Gear. It's a she mag. Pretty neat. Look at that. We have some MREs. A lot of the guys in this group are active in former military, so uh, it's pretty interesting. I've never actually seen one of these live because I've never been in the military or uh, other than this group been really close with anybody in the military so that's that's pretty cool to see. What else do we have here? We have a Husky Toolbox with Savage Jerky or Blend and then inside of here we have Look at this. This is a Savage Jerky pack. So we've got teriyaki jerky. We have more jerky. Beer koozie. That's a pretty cool little package right there. And all in a Husky toolbox, which is pretty cool. Yes, guys, I know I'm flying through this. This, look at that, looks like a diving knife. If I drop shit all over the place, that, that handle's pretty cool. Awesome, I love sharp shit. Oh, this must have fallen out of the other box. Here's a Savage Jerky Mojo Jalapeno Hot Sauce. What else do we have in here? Yep, another shot glass. I won't bother saying what it says online. Let's take a look. We have a, another jet set. 
Look at that, we got another Jet Set Black watch, just like uh, the one we received in the other box. So I have uh, another one of those, which is cool. It's a sharp looking watch. I don't know anything about them, so I'm gonna have to dive into them. All right, and we have a VR headset. That's pretty cool. My son is gonna love that one. We have a bomber. Another watch. Can't wait to jump into these watches and learn a little bit about them. What's in here? Bone collector. So, knives always go very well with watches, so we have another knife. And uh, let's see if I can get this shut without slicing my finger off. There we go. From the Bone Collector. We have a USB-C charging cable. Again, guys, this is a mystery box, so you never know what you're gonna get. Uh, we have another Gerber knife. Pretty cool. Another knife in this mystery box. Set this guy off to the side. What do we have in here? This is a Wohler diver, it looks like. Silicone band. Gonna have to jump into these watches after and take a look and see what I got, because I don't know anything about some of these watches. I'm gonna save the best for last. I can already see it, but I am going to save that one. Sunglasses. What's in here? This is an air blue case with more sunglasses. Don't know if you guys saw that air blue watch review that I did, but that's an air blue watch case. And we have a Superman Pez dispenser in this mystery box as well. Okay, we have an LED flashlight. Now, this is pretty cool. This is a survival bracelet for anybody that hasn't seen one before, I'm sure you have. It's a paracord bracelet, braided bracelet with uh, survival clips. There's flint in the clip. There's a couple different cool things with that neat survival bracelet that came with this mystery box. Let's take a look at some of these watches. So in here, looks like we have a new Ventus watch. And look at that. I've actually had one of these before and traded away and I got one back. These are really, really cool watch. This is a Ventus Black Kite. Uh, I'll post up in right above here. I actually reviewed this watch that I had received previously. So that's a Ventus Black Kite that uh, we received as part of this mystery box. Now, if I remember, this watch itself was upwards in the two, $300 range. So I'm just gonna remind you guys, as I'm opening up all of this stuff, I spent $200 total and won all of this on a waffle. $200 total and I'm getting all of this. So it looks like we have the X-Men, The Last Stand. Pretty cool. What do we have here? This looks like a, yep, little battery charging brick. All right, this is ice ball molds. Anybody that loves a nice drink, got our ice ball molds so you can make uh, ice balls to uh, throw in your drink. We have a key clip. What is in here? Fun run jewelry. Look at that, we got some beaded bracelets. Black and brown balls on this beaded bracelets. It's pretty cool, they look, feels like it's wood possibly. 
if I can get those back in there. I see a wayward watch floating around in here, so let's take a look at what this guy is. This is a Casio ProTrack Tough Solar. Gonna have to do some research on this watch. Looks uh, like it follows right along in the G-Shock line. Now guys, remember, just one thing to throw out there. Again, this is a mystery box. This is all things that people donated for this cause to help purchase the Grail for Trevor. What do we have here? So this looks like a portable humidor, if I think correctly. Let's open this guy up and that's exactly what it is. We've got a couple cigars. There you go, a couple cigars for, uh, for me to partake in while I'm having a, an adult beverage, so that's pretty cool. Pretty neat little uh, pocket container right there. And what do we have here? This is, it says 40 ounce flask. Let's see what it is. I think I know what it is. Look at that, sip me, 10 year old Rip Van Winkle. So this is going to be pretty, pretty nice. Wow. That's smooth. Whew. Woo! All right, I don't know if I can do that on YouTube or not, but I just did. So 10 year old Rip Van Winkle. So that will go nicely with the ice balls. And what else do we have here? We have an Amazon Echo Dot. That's pretty cool. And what do we have in this watch? We have a Belova. Wow. Look at that. That's nuts, guys. I, this just keeps blowing my mind. I spent $200 on this mystery box, $200. Next, Yema. Well, that's interesting. It's like a Yema dive watch. I personally have never seen one of these before. That's, that's really, really cool. I'm gonna have to uh, do some research on this watch and we'll come back and take a look at it in a later, a later video. Comes with silicone band as well as that stainless steel bracelet that is very cool all right so set those off here and what do we have actually i'm gonna hold that one because i recognize these boxes say aragon collector case and look at that i believe that's the aragon savant with mother of pearl dial very very cool Anybody that knows me knows how much I love Aragon watches. So that is, uh, that's an awesome snag right there. That watch in and of itself is more than, or almost as much as the $200 that I spent. We have another Aragon here. Now, anybody that doesn't know these Aragons, this is the collector case versus the standard case is only the half size. Open this guy up. That is cool. I believe that is the Aragon Dive Master. I want to say it's the NH35 or NH36 that's in this. Bright orange. Gorgeous dial on that watch. Very, very cool. I mean, just in just in these Aragon watches alone, um, that's that's ridiculous. Just in these Aragon watches alone. That is more than the $200 that I spent. We're gonna come back and take a closer look at these watches because you guys know how much I love to take a look at the Aragon watches. And what else do we have in here? This looks like a vintage Hamilton maybe. Wow. 
that is uh, pretty cool right there. Going to have to do some research on that one. And I don't know what the hell this is. It looks like an emery board. Hey, who knows? All right, down to two, guys. Almost over. Can almost let you go. This is, I can tell from the logo already. Do you guys know from the logo what that is? Boom, Android. Look at that. That is badass. I believe this is the Android Dive Master Enforcer, I think. I think that was the model of this. We're gonna come back and take a look at this watch because uh, this is the first Android that uh, I've had. You guys have seen me. I've got a lot of the Aragons, but I do not have any Android. So this is the first Android that I've had. Uh, gonna definitely do some compare and contrast on those guys. But here, coming up next, is the main win in this whole package right here. You guys see that logo? You know what that is? That is a ball. Look at that. Wow. Whew. Stainless steel band in there as well. This, this guy right here, this is on a custom band. This is now recognizing that this is used, which there's nothing wrong. These ball watches are monsters and they'll keep running. This right here is a thousand dollar watch. That's, that's nuts. I'm, I'm absolutely blown away. And uh, $200 is all I spent on all of this stuff, guys. $200. All right, so that was the mystery box unboxing that I won thanks to that waffle that I took part in earlier in January. Guys, the only thing I can say as it relates to waffles is I really, this is probably the second one I've ever been in. Um, because I never win anything, I don't usually spend my money on them. Uh, this one I did because it was for a good cause. It was, uh, as I mentioned, to support uh, the purchase of that grail for Trevor, um, which is, uh, you know, it's, it's always a good thing to do to pay it forward. And the camaraderie in these watch communities is definitely something to be commended. I threw in this time and I lucked out big time. As you'll see from some of these pictures towards the end, the watches... You know, I haven't even added them all up, but we're talking thousands of dollars worth of watches. And uh, I, I really nailed it big on this one, I think, uh, considering out of pocket, $200 uh, plus, let me rephrase that, $200 plus the shipping of the box that uh, I had donated uh, was all that I was out on this raffle. So guys, anyway, thank you very much for sticking around. Stick around, I'll post up some close-up pictures of what I got uh, if you missed it while I was opening the boxes. If you guys wanna reach out to me, you can reach out to me on the website at mywatchaddiction.com. If you wanna see what's on my wrist on a daily basis, definitely follow us on Instagram at instagram slash watchaddiction.us. And finally, if you want to see what watch I'm taking a look at every week, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down in the right-hand corner, and uh, you'll be alerted every single time I post up a new watch review or a new watch video. And uh, thank you again, guys. Have a great week.